In this story, what I was able to find out was that I have a documented history that goes back more than 3,000 years. So my family on the Chinese side, I am the 151st generation of Lo's, and they're all written down, and who was favored by what emperor and what that person's role and job was. And that is, in many ways, astounding that that history could last that long and be kept so accurately. However, what I say here in the United States, what I've said in China, is that for as much as the Lowe family has this documented 3,000 year history, the first man on this planet was an African man. The African people are the original people. So the only difference for me is that on the African side of my family, I merely cannot document the generations back. Whereas on the Chinese side, I can. But the Chinese people came from the African people, as did the Caucasian people. So what I really want to come out of this book and out of this documentary is that I want us to not believe that when we think of black people as being mixed with race, that we're always mixed with white people. We are not always mixed with white people. Going back, we have been mixed with other races since the beginning of time. And what I'm really hoping for will result from the search and the story of how um, people of the African diaspora and people of the Chinese diaspora can intersect and have been inter intersecting for decades. Uh, growing up here in the United States um, with the mantle of racism, and the foundation of slavery, I think unfortunately for a lot of us, we have been trained, although we may not realize that we've been trained, we've been trained to see ourselves through the eyes largely of racism. And by that I mean that many of us perceive our history as somehow beginning around the institution of slavery. And, and, and I've always had a problem with that. I've always not believed that that is how we should perceive ourselves. We absolutely need to acknowledge, without question, that slavery was a damning and racist institution and the worst thing that has happened to a people in the history of humankind but if we continue focusing on slavery and what justice is gonna come from for us as a result of slavery, I'm concerned that we will be sitting and waiting for a long time for something to happen that's never going to happen. The legacy of Harlem, right, from the days when people from Jamaica came here as part of the Harlem Renaissance, and when people came here and they had people come from home and, and left an imprint on this community. I don't live in New York anymore, I live in LA. But I worry when I see that the resources that are going into my hometown are coming into my hometown after there are people who are natives of my hometown can hardly afford to live here anymore. We, I, I, got, I have to be in Harlem, I want this to be, for me, you know, a, I never really have left, I just don't live here anymore, but I feel very much a part of the community. I, ha I feel a sense of belonging, and I'm, you know, really grateful. I mean, there's my grandfather's picture in Harlem. Here's my mother in Harlem. She brought us here. It's my mother who moved to Harlem. It's not my father, it wasn't my grandmother. My mother moved to Harlem when she came here from Jamaica as a half Chinese woman with a British passport. And she never wanted us to move from Harlem. She was happy with us being here. And I'm thrilled and honored and so grateful to you for inviting me back.